Hey guys, Jang here from UltimateRC.com with a really quick tip on tidying up the wiring in your RC. Uh, you may have seen in some folks' RCs where they've got their servo wires all coiled up in a nice little bundle that helps to really shorten down all this extra length that you have rather than having to fold it all up and use zip ties and other stuff like that. I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. You're going to need a very sophisticated piece of equipment in order to accomplish this though, so do be prepared in advance. You will need something like a screwdriver, preferably a Phillips head screwdriver. That's about it. Anything that is round and uh, sturdy and yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Anything that's uh, that's round and straight uh, is is pretty much all that you'll need. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm basically going to wrap the extra servo lead. In this case, it's coming off of a speed control, but it's the exact same type of thing. I'm going to wrap it around, starting uh, towards the base, not towards the, the free end. You have to have this unplugged when you're doing this. I'm going to wrap it around, but watch what I'm doing here. I'm going to be pulling outward in this direction, out this direction here and I'm actually rubbing that wire across and then pulling it back in, holding it, uh, holding it tight the whole time. And as I rub it across there, it's starting the bend. It's starting the bend in the wire from a very large radius and a very, just a very slight angle all the way up to a full wrap all the way around the, in this case, the screwdriver. And that's tightening this up. And I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna hold with my index finger over here, hold the, the back end and continue this. Each time I'm wrapping it all the way around, you notice that it's turning, I'm turning the wire. Just pull this part in here. You want to keep it flat. You don't want to end up putting bends in it like that because they will stay. And just keep turning it and make sure to put that pressure on it and pull it in. Don't put so much pressure on it that it will, that it will break. Uh, but these these wires are fairly tough. Uh, you know, they're not too too flimsy, so you don't have to worry about it too much. But the, basically, the tighter that you keep this while you pull it around, the the smaller the ending coil will be when you're done with it, and the longer it'll stay in place. The longer it'll keep that nice tight little coil. Now it's not the coil is not going to be as small as it looks right here. It's going to open up as soon as I take the screwdriver off. It's going to open up a little bit. So whatever size of coil that you want for your wires, use a smaller rod, in this case screwdriver, than that. Okay, so now I've, I've, I've just gone through and tightened this up one last time and put a little pressure on it. I'm just going to take this out, and there you go. A nice, neat little coil that has some elasticity to it, but it'll pretty much hold that shape for, for months and months. And rather than having this long extra lead of wire that's just kind of hanging around, now you get something that you can just run right to where it needs to go, in this case to the, to the receiver, and that's it. Simple as that, nice neat little coil. If you, like I said, if you want to make a, a smaller coil, just use a smaller rod to wrap it around, maybe a smaller screwdriver. Those seem to be the, just the most convenient things to use because they, have, they give you a nice handle to hold on to, and uh, they're, they're generally uh, quite, quite stiff, so it does the job. And that's it, that's it for this tip. If you have any other uh, little tips like this that you want to share with folks, please do on the friendly forums at ultimatercom There's lots of different forum areas for sharing your ideas. Hope to see you there and hope to see you again in my next video. Take care.